So one of the amazing things about being a dad is getting the ability to go back and revisit old family legends and actually get a sense of of what the parent perspective is like. So um, since I was of conscious age, I've heard the story about how when I was, I don't know, three or something, I flew back to visit my grandmother in Florida and had this epic uh, soliloquy where I described in great detail how to like make a fountain in the yard, some sort of like plumbing, home decoration, remodel, stick, uh, but with complete confidence and just like fully articulated uh, because, you know, I'd seen Mr. Rogers do it on TV and therefore I, I felt I could do it. And that was just one of these classic stories. It's like, well, you know, here's this kid raised around adults, so incredibly precocious. And um, as a parent, I realized that wasn't me. That was, um, that was Fred Rogers. Like, that man is clear. That man is inspiring. And when he tells you that these are things that we all can learn to do, you better believe it because, like, the man speaks the truth. So uh, watching Annika now pour through our giant torrent of old Mr. Rogers episodes, she sings to him, and when he says, you're special, and I, I like you just the way you are, and her eyes glow, and she, she asks me, like, can we be Mr. Rogers' neighbors? And yeah, yeah, we can. So uh, that's apparently my story is that all family legends actually point back to the fact that Mr. Rogers is pretty damn okay.